Bells are feeding. We didn't think we were gonna see this. This is very exciting. I'm such a turd. This is part four of the behind the scenes of my reporting series in Colombia. Have you ever seen Narcos, that super popular hit show on Netflix? If you have, then you already know where this part of the story takes place. Wait, let's speed this up for a second. I have a point to this. Yeah, see that right there? Yep. That's Pablo Escobar's old house. But hold on, let me clarify this, because I hate that the world won't drop the whole Escobar Colombia thing. My purpose in coming here wasn't to exploit it, but to tell the story about how they turned something negative into something positive. Because this was his, this was his house, so why is it important for you guys to separate yourself from him? This was his house before, but today it's not, and now it is this, now it is this great park that does great things. This was a pretty big deal for me. Look at where I am. I had to get this intro just perfect. Wow, convincing. Look at where we are. Can you guess how the day started? Ridiculous 4 a.m. wake up call. Again, I do this to myself, I schedule it this way. I don't want to get up at today's Escobar's house. I really, really have to stop doing this. Go to the barn to the I had my two fixers. That's Henry, and that's Alana. <laughs> By the way, there's a story behind this. Quick lesson in Colombian slang. A chiguido is an animal that we call in English a capybara. But in Colombia, they use the term chiguido as a teasing insult, kind of like to describe something or someone that's especially ugly, like a chiguido. Anyway. Today, it's Parque Temático Hacienda Nápoles. There are hippos at Hacienda Nápoles, and I'll get to those soon. But there's a whole bunch of other animals too. I see you. <laughs> Hola. ¿Qué tal? Farm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. 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 Right in front of me, just so I know. Just so I know, it's his window. I did a whole piece about what this place is today and why the animals are even here. They turned it into a San Diego Zoo of sorts, with an African yeah, twist. Sure. Just put, yeah, go back, and just put your hands over the U and the M. Get it, muse? They just offered to feed the hippos for us. So now it's happening and we're actually gonna get video footage of the hippos. I had heard about these hippos being cheeky and escaping into town every now and then, and it's one of the stories that prompted me to put together this entire reporting trip to Colombia. Reed took over the telling of that hippo story once we got there. All in all, I produced and edited a few stories from Circa from this day. All right, I'm rolling. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna have you explain what you were starting to explain um, earlier about how we can't escape the history of the park. And I really like all of them, so check them out. I'll link to them all below. I am so unbelievably tired. I feel like I say that all the time. Except we just had a very long day. We woke up very early. It took us three hours to drive here. And it was so hot. It was a project that has two main objectives. And we were filming all day. These production days are just, they're big, they're, they're long and they're intense. So it's like 4.30 and we're finally all breaking for lunch. We're not done, we still have to keep filming, but I am just exhausted. Like I, I could I could have like an ice cream cone and fall asleep right now. By the way, still no bags. I am not gonna get my bags back from United anytime soon. For those of you who've been watching this Colombian reporting series from the start, yep, the luggage drama continued. When the guy, when I spoke to the guy this morning and he said that it was going on a flight to Bogota tonight, is that, 
Is there a flight leaving for Bogota tonight? Up until this point, I still had no bags. I was recycling the same version of this outfit and living off my trial-sized toiletries and trying to do my work on camera this whole time. When those bags are going to get at the airport? I mean, it could be tomorrow, it could be another week, right? Next time. Ay, Cartagena. Como te amo.